Hi, my name is Karen, and I'm here with my friend, Praying Mantis. Hello, Praying Mantis. Oh yes, today we're going to tell a story called The Grasshopper's Song. First, let's sing. Mother Earth, Father Son, Spin us a story, a story is fun. Sit here, praying mantis. A long time ago, long, long ago, there was a grasshopper, and the grasshopper had a wonderful garden full of corn. Well, it not only had corn, it had squash and beans and all sorts of vegetables and fruits that you would love to eat. And grasshopper cared for his garden so well because he sang and spoke to his garden day and night with a beautiful song. Do you know that song, Praying Mantis? Do you know the song? It was so beautiful that one day, old coyote walking by heard the song. She said, what is that wonderful song I hear? I will go and find out what the song is. So she walked down into Grasshopper's garden and she said, Grasshopper, tell me that song. I really want to hear it. I want to learn it so that I can sing it myself. And Grasshopper said, I will teach you, but you must have a clear mind so that you can remember the song. And you must not get distracted, but sing the song so that you may have plants that grow. She said, I will have a clear mind and I will pay attention and learn the song. So the grasshopper taught her the song and old woman coyote went on her way. And as she was walking home, she spied a few doves on the trail and she thought, mm, that would make a nice meal. So she ran after the doves, but they flew away. And she thought, what was that song again that Grasshopper said? I can't remember. I'll have to go and ask Grasshopper again what the song was. So she went back to the garden and she said, Grasshopper, I have forgotten the song. Teach it to me again so that I may know it. And Grasshopper said, I will teach it to you again, but you must pay attention and you must not get distracted and have a clear mind so that you can remember it. She said, I will remember it. So again, Grasshopper taught her the song and she listened and paid attention. And on the way back home, she sang the song in her head until she saw a rabbit along the trail and she thought, oh, I'm really hungry. That would make a nice meal. So she ran after the rabbit. What a chase it was, darting here, darting there, running between bushes, around trees. But the rabbit got away. And do you know what? She forgot the song. In the meantime, Grasshopper thought, she will come back again. She will have forgotten the song. I will not teach it to her again. And so Grasshopper turned himself into a rock. And sure enough, she came back into the garden. Oh, Grasshopper, Grasshopper, I have forgotten the song. Teach it to me again. Grasshopper did not answer. She said, Grasshopper, I am talking to you. I want to know your song. Teach it to me now. Grasshopper did not answer. She said a third time, angry no. Grasshopper, if you don't teach me this song, I will eat you up and everything in your garden. Grasshopper did not answer. So she ate Grasshopper up. Oh, but Grasshopper was a rock and broke her front teeth right out. And that is why today, coyote have very short teeth in the front. She ran away yelping from the garden. Oh, 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 oh. And Grasshopper turned back into a grasshopper. She had spit him out, of course. And he started singing his grasshopper song to his garden. Very soon, a little boy came wandering by and he wandered down into the garden and he said, 
Is that you singing, Grasshopper? Yes, said Grasshopper. Is it your song that has brought me to the garden? Yes, said Grasshopper. Will you teach me your song? I will teach you my song, but your mind has to be clear and good. Yes, said the boy. And you have to always pay attention and never get distracted while you sing the song to the garden. Yes, said the boy. And you must always promise me that you will give me a home in the garden. Yes, said the boy. And you must save the seeds every year to replant the garden so it comes up year after year. Yes, said the boy. And you must teach the song to all the people. I will, said the boy. And so the grasshopper taught the boy his song. And the boy sang his song. And the boy remembered the song. And he took the song home to his family. And he taught it to them. And he taught them how to care and sing to the garden. And he taught them how to save the seeds and uh, care and plant the garden every year. And every year still, the grasshopper has a home in the garden and sings to the plants just as the people do. And if you go to a garden this very day, you will hear the grasshopper's song. Mother Earth, Father Son, spin us a story, a story is spun.